what is up and welcome to Diddy Day Ray with me, your girl Ray Ray. Hey, what's up? How's it going? How are you feeling today? I hope you're doing well. If you're seeing me in this outfit, then that must mean that you just watched my Torrid Haul video that I put out as well. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate your likes. So, this is going to be a Michaels, a small Michaels haul slash Kate Corner update. So, I'm going to do the Michaels haul first. So, I'm going to do that. So, because it kind of ties into um, everything that I got going on in this area. So, and actually I went to Dollar Tree too. So, I'll throw that stuff in there as well. So, let's start with Michaels first. So, I went to Michaels because I was looking for these particular storage containers or something similar to it. Um, but I did get some of these. These were like a dollar something, dollar and some change. So I got, they came in three colors. So I got two of each color. I got pink, blue, and this greenish yellow, whatever color you want to call that. So I got two of each of these. Now you're probably like, right, what are you going to do with these? So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put paint brushes in one, my cake tools, like my, um, like, uh, you know like the Wilton tools and stuff like that and another um some of my clear i have those clear embossing rolling pins i'm gonna put them in one um i'm gonna put um uh, what is it what else do i have in there um my like exacto knife and things like that because these will probably go either in the drawer because so i ordered all this stuff i don't know if i told you guys this yet or not but i ordered all the furniture for my cake corner i got my my kitchen cart from home depot i got my wardrobe cabinet that i'm going to put my one cart in from walmart and this is what that looks like and then i did get the calyx system from ikea that cube thing with all the inserts that i showed you guys in the previous video if not i'll show it again Okay, so the thing from Ikea. So as you guys know, I wanted this cubicle system with Ikea, from Ikea that's got like the little push drawers and it's got like the doors and stuff like that. And that is what I wanted. So I did order it and it couldn't be delivered. It said it couldn't be delivered to my area because due to limited quantity or limited supply. So I said, okay, so I'll do the order and just go pick it up but then it said this now there's only two ikea stores in the whole entire state of maryland so it was like we do not do pickups order or online order pickups at this ikea location so i was like okay cool fine i'll try the other ikea location which is like just a few hours away but for shits and giggles let's see if they'll deliver it there nope they don't deliver it there so I was like, oh my God. So I had to, I couldn't get that particular unit. However, the people are stupid or I'm stupid, but they had another identical one that was the same exact thing, except for they just had it pictured horizontally and it had more um, doors than drawers, if that makes any sense. But it says right in the description, you it can be used vertical or horizontal. So instead of having to order two doors and or two drawers and four doors, I had to order two doors and four drawers. That's probably very confusing. But um, so anyway, I got my unit. It wasn't the same one, but it says it won't be delivered till August 13th. So I'm hoping that they will get it. I might call Ikea like anyway that we can get this a little bit early I might have to pull a Karen card or something but I'm not really a Karen I am nowhere near a Karen but maybe I'll just call and just say hey for shits and giggles is there any way that we can bump this delivery up or what's going on you know so anyway 
So in, pre in preparation for everything, I have been buying storage containers because the kitchen island that I'm getting is going to replace my desk, but there's under the cabinet storage and there's drawers. Like I said, as you will see the picture, I in hope that I inserted the picture. Um, so the desk is going and the kitchen island cart is going to take its place, which is going to be good because it's going to be on caster wheels or it's going to be on wheels and I can pull it out. It's got metal handles so I can pull it out. I can turn it sideways when I'm decorating. I could film. I have a nice, pretty, solid white background and all will be right with the world, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, so that is so everything's ordered. It's just waiting for everything to get here and actually get done. But I will document the whole cake corner makeover in the process, like of me even putting it together and everything else. So yeah, but in the process, I'm getting prepared. Now I did order a case of Sterlite containers. They're um, flat because inside the wardrobe um, on top of the this the rainbow drawer cart, this big one right there um i can stack the containers on top so i already have everything somewhat figured out and planned out in my head so yeah so i did get these i did pick these up at michael's so i figured these would slip right into the top drawer and then i can look right down inside of them and say okay there's my paint brushes there's my my, like modeling tools like my rolling pin might even fit my little one so everything that I need will be in these containers like the little piddly stuff like my little famous little clay thing that I use all the time which I meant to buy a new one I actually looked at Michael's when I went because they're like expensive but they didn't have any in stock and I was like so mad the little peg was empty so I got those and I have a little bag of goodies here now this was so this is a cookie stencil but you guys know i use this on fondant all the time but um so this is from sweet sugar bell it says clearance 17 dollars, but it actually came up half price so this was like eight or something dollars like eight and some change um or close to nine i think i don't know how much it was but it was not 17 dollars because i would not pay 17 dollars for it because they said um it was 26 it went clearance to 17 and then every everything that was on this like one particular table said you take an additional 50 percent off the clearance price so i was like score like because i kind of looked at this um but it comes with a little silicone mat here's the cookie stencil and i don't know is one icing spreader and I think that's it. But this is like a little, as I bonk myself in the head, this is like a little set, but you guys know I like to do um, my fondant with like the stencil and I thought maybe this would just hold it down a little bit better. I don't know, we'll try it, we'll give it, we'll give it a go, we'll see. Um, so then the next kit that I saw that I kind of was looking at, I'm like, do I really need it? But it was only $5. So the original price was $16. Its clearance price was $9.97, which it came up to like four and some change or something like that. Um, it was like $5, $5.40. So I don't know what it was. But because um, I don't have the receipt. So it does like, so in here it's got these cutters. So it's got like the mouth and all. Let me just open this and show you guys. Because I'm going to take them out anyway. Because when I organize this stuff, I'm actually going to like cut, um, like cut this stuff out and put it in like the bags and everything. So here is, oh, look at that. It's got, um, royal icing. So in here, I don't know how well you can see it. There's little templates that you can use for frosting and it's like the little noses and things like that. So it's got that and then here's like the ears. So if you wanted to cut, you know, the ears out, where is it at? Like the rabbit ears. So this is the rabbit ear. And then this is like the um, pineapple top. You could also use it for other things like they have it for strawberry leaves, things like that. Uh, what else is in here? So this is like the little muzzle. If you wanted to make one of these cakes, there's like, 
you see like there's like the little monkey's mouth a little you do it differently for the dog the bunny if you want to do a unicorn a bear so there's that and then here's a nose and this is just like another little like this is like a big teardrop I guess you can do it down like that for like eyes or ears so I guess this part would go down into the cake and like you could use this one for ears and stuff like that so this is like a really cute little set and like I said I only paid five bucks for it I wasn't gonna pay $17 for this I kind of like this cutter set because I suck at making ears I don't know why so I'm gonna open this up though because I just want to see what they have for the little template curiosity has got the best of me so ooh, oh okay so there's a unicorn horn template like these things have to come out like that and then I will have a unicorn horn I just gotta take the rest of them out this one is a like rabbit nose this is a little another little snout this is i guess for like if you wanted to do leaves or something with that oops there's the template for the ears so like i can cut the fondant out and then put this template and then use a powder and get a perfect ear that's what i'm talking about and then you can even use that piece for something and then here's the part for the ears so again you could take this inner part out and then put it on top of the ear or use that as a stencil to cut your pieces out and there's also some recipe cards in here for cookies and royal icing so that's oh 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 i dropped it so that is pretty nifty so that's not uh, bad for five bucks let me pick this up real quick i couldn't find it okay so I'm gonna put this off to the side. So I'll probably put, take everything out of this box and I'll probably cut, um, like cut this part out or something and put like that part in the box so I know what it is and then do it that way. So I got that and that. Now I do have a birthday cake coming up that I'm going to make. So I did, they didn't have any of my fondant that I liked. But they did have, I did get this little pack. I paid full price for this. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. But this is a little pastel pack and it's got like blue, light yellow, like pink and light green. And that, why well, I use a 20% off. And then I got, oops, in all black. I didn't want this much black fondant, but they didn't have any small packs of black fondant. So I am actually making my friend for her 50th birthday. I'm making her a Marilyn Monroe cake and she has no idea. So stay tuned for that video. That's coming up. I'm waiting for a stencil to come in the mail so I can do this cake. Speaking of her cake, I actually picked this up as well. This is like a rhinestone ribbon. I'm going to put this along the bottom of her cake and I might cut a strip or so off if I can. I'll have to see how this is really um, worked or maybe this just goes around. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to wrap this around the bottom of her cake and um, like jazz it up, give it some bling. What else do I have in here? Oh, I forgot I got this. So this was only a dollar. This is the Rosanna Pancino 8-Bit Heart. And I was so excited to get this because I've actually been wanting this for a long time. But I was like, I'm not going to buy it. Like, it's so expensive. Um, so original price was $3.99. It was clearance to $1.97, 50% off. I got it for a dollar. So um, I got the 8-Bit Heart cookie cutter. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. And then I also got the Rosanna Pancino 8-bit heart sprinkles because they're just so cool. Um, these were on clearance for $2.47. So I paid like $1.25 or something. So I did get two things of them. Um, they're Rosanna Pancino's heart sprinkles, the little 8-bit hearts with the little Nerdy Nummies logo. So I was super excited to get 
those. Now, that is everything that I got from Michaels. Um, oh, no, I lied. Because I got this from Michaels as well. So um, this goes on my rolling ribbon cutter thing and it embosses and it says happy birthday hooray um or it says uh no it says it's your birthday hooray and it's got like a little confetti ribbon too so i did pick this up i think the package rip but um this was actually on clearance as well which i don't know why but it came up as clearance so i did grab that so um let me get reconfigured real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got everything, oh, I broke my nail today try, doing the bed liner and it keeps getting caught up on stuff. Okay, so this container is kind of what started everything. Um, me and my girlfriend, we went to the Dollar Tree. I got this container at the Dollar Tree and it's really nice because it's got like a nice little latch and the lid is attached to it, which I like a lot and this was the only one we could find like we looked everywhere could not find another container like this so i got this because i was like i could put my molds like i could put some of my molds my st things that i um use all the time and stuff like that and hold on i need to yell at my son for a second because he's being too loud okay so anyway so i found these containers at the dollar tree only found this one at the one particular Dollar Tree that we were at. They didn't have any more. So then I made it my mission <laughs> to get more of these. So that night when I came home, I went on DollarTree.com, which I don't know if many of you guys know. You can order from DollarTree.com. However, you have to order a whole case of something. So, because I know a couple of crafters, they order their artificial flowers from Dollar Tree, but they have to order a whole case and it's like $72. But if it's like fall stuff or whatever my cat is playing with, look. Oof. Look. She's playing with the... <laughs> Luna. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Shiny objects. I get distracted. So, um, I went to go, I came home and I took the skew and I looked it up on Dollar Tree and it popped right up and it was a case of 12 and I said, oh, that would be perfect because they'll stack really nice and there'll be colors, like different colors. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like I'm going to do that. Let me tell y'all, I ordered it. I was excited. I said, bet this is good. I got an email the next morning saying my order was declined and I thought it was because I used my Venmo card to order them because it was like just 12 it was like 12 dollars you know and um and I was like what it's like I have money on my Venmo card so then I called the Dollar Tree 800 number and asked them like is everything okay like blah 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 and she said it got declined because they don't have these in stock anymore like they sent them out to all the stores and there's none left in stock and I was like oh so she's like your best bet is to call the stores and see if they have them so I was like okay so I called and I asked like two of the stores and I know that they didn't look just because I know that they didn't look you know how sometimes when you call i guarantee you they just like yeah hold on and they put the phone down and they go about their business and then they come back and they're like yeah we don't have any you know one of those type deals so i'm like yeah you didn't look but whatever so um we went between me and my two friends we went on the hunt and my roommate went to another dollar tree and looked for these containers because i gave her the skew i gave her the thing and, and then I when she didn't find them and I went out with my other girlfriend last night we went to two other dollar stores and they didn't have them either so I was like so mad so I couldn't find these so then I was on the hunt for a container like this maybe a little bit deeper and I found a case of 12 very similar to this um on eBay go figure so I ordered a case of 12 from eBay so I have those coming because I figure um silicone molds impression mats stencils things like that they'll go in here and they'll stack up really really nice so 
I got those coming. Then I went to the Dollar Tree. Well, another Dollar Tree that I was at when I was looking for more of these. And I got two packs of these. These are just large rectangle containers, but I kind of wanted a little bit taller ones for maybe I'll put my food coloring and stuff like that in these. So maybe that's what I'll do. Um, maybe some like bigger things that I have. So I only got two packs. Of these. This is $2 and I got four containers. So you can't really beat that. And they're just for storage. It's not like I'm actually going to be putting them in the microwave and like, I don't care like if they're cheaply made, I just need them to hold stuff. So if you need good, like little storage things, go to the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So while I was there, I also found these and because, oh, that was the other thing. Like I wanted things for my plungers and stuff. So I figured these would be nice for my plungers because I am going to put them in like Ziploc bags and then organize them that way. So then I got five, five of these containers. So it's just like a shoe box, but it's a nice clear. It's a good size. Again, cookie cutters, things like that. Um, oh, I can't get the lid off. Um, but yeah, the lid snaps on really nice. Again, cookie cutters, fondant pins, fondant mats, you know, cause like I said, I want everything nice and neat and organized and that way cat hair, dust, stuff like that doesn't mess up my stuff anymore. So everything will be tucked away in nice containers, dust free containers. And yeah, so looking forward to that. Now, another thing that I have now, these are mine. I did not buy these, but I mean, ugh, I didn't steal them, but I've had these for a long time. This is my old, this is an old tackle box. I have three of them. I have three tackle boxes. I don't know if I'm going to use all three, but all the little bits and bobs, the little psh, 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 things that you know whatever this used to i used to use these for my jewelry in case if you're new here um i sell jewelry now i haven't sold jewelry in a very long time because there's no vendor event since covid hit before vendor season started me and my girlfriend we did vendor events every single weekend almost um i set up my table she set up her table she sold her hair bows i sold my lockets and my charms and we did this almost every weekend just try to make some extra money um but since covid hit there's no more flea markets there's no more vendor events there's nothing like that um so what i did was i condensed a lot of my stuff down because with covid like i still have my facebook pages and stuff but nobody's buying anything really so i'm thinking about liquidating everything like all my jewelry and getting rid of it is either at cost like i think that if somebody just buys a stainless steel necklace from me for 20 bucks like i'll just give them all the free charms that they want because <laughs> i have so many charms like it's ridiculous like you give me 20 bucks for the necklace and then i'll give you all the free charms or you know you buy one get one free you know like i don't know or buy however many charms you buy you can get that many free like if you buy five charms you get five charms free so i mean maybe that's what i'll do because i just need to get rid of stuff but um and my charms are only a dollar the link is down in the description box for raise lockets and charms on my facebook page just to let you know also my poshmark link is down there so if you see any of my clothing hauls <laughs> and want to buy some clothes if you email me and let me know your username on poshmark if you make me an offer and you tell me you're gonna do it, I'll accept your offer just to get rid of some of these damn clothes because I love clothes and I'm constantly adding stuff because my rule is if I put new clothes in, I gotta take clothes out. So just so you know, and I just did a little tour at haul with like five clothes. So I'm gonna be adding five more things on there tonight. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Um, so this is a little tackle box and this says, actually says snap bracelets or snap buttons. Cause I used to keep my snap buttons in this one. And this one says, um, lockets like, cause my lockets used to be in this. So I actually saw this on Pinterest cause I was looking up storage ideas. Um, I'm going to put 
my piping tips. Sorry, I keep looking out the window past the camera and I don't mean to, but there are these like, oh, there's a few squirrels playing on the tree. I don't know if I can flip this around. I don't know if you guys can see. There is a squirrel. Uh-oh, focus locked. I didn't mean to do that. He's not moving. Again, squirrel. Oh, why did I do that? See, he's right there on the tree. He is right there. But there was some more of them. There was one on the tree limb. But the, <laughs> now they're not doing anything. Now they're not doing nothing. He's just like in a frozen position. What else? But... <laughs> As I was saying, I'm gonna put all my piping tips. I'm gonna keep them organized because a pipe, piping tip caddy is so expensive. Like, Wilton, what are you doing? You are butt raping people on your products, like for real. So I'm gonna put the little doo doo, the doodads, the little doodads in there. And I am going to use this for piping tips. And then in the other one, I'll put my Russian piping tips. And so that way I'll just have everything together. And maybe like down here, I'll put my piping bags and stuff like that. And then I have like some chocolate making stuff. And then I'll put that in another one. So I have three of these. So I'm going to use that. Um, another good deal that I did find, I actually found on Amazon this is so i don't know if you guys know i like tappets a lot like i have a lot of tappets and if you don't know what tappet tappets are so it's like a strip like this is the alphabet and this is a cursive one and i have like the lowercase one coming i haven't oh there's the other squirrel okay squirrel see i get distracted too easily but um so you roll your fawn and out and you put the letters on top of it and then you just do like a nice clean and then you literally like flick it and it flicks out you know and you get like really nice letters um so this is a two centimeter uppercase script so this is like script writing and then i have the lowercase coming so you can make it look like cursive because i like cursive you know if you're making an adult cake i feel like the adult cake should have cursive on it i don't know that's just i mean not always but i don't know but yeah so i got these cursive things so again like i could put all my tap it in the container and I could be good because Lord knows my alphabet drawer is insane but I am as I'm going through everything I am going to be liquidating and clearing some stuff out packing some stuff away I'm still might put some of my seasonal cake pans and things like that down in the basement but um like with the seasonal stuff but um like all my everyday stuff like that I'm of course not going to do that <sighs> Feel like i've been talking too much i've been talking for a half hour straight i should be in the pool at 6 30. and i'm still i'll probably still go out and go get in the pool because it's still like it's 92 degrees out so yeah i still have time to get in the pool but yeah so that is my cake corner update slash michael's haul so i am so excited to get this corner underway and get it cleaned because like i said before it is causing me much stress and i am not even joking about that like the anxiety is real like having a disarray like it's slowly been getting to me and like lately i've just been like oh my god it needs to get cleaned up but it's not gonna be fully done until i get my ikea thing so oh i don't know all right guys i'm gonna wrap this video up so that squirrel is still sitting there the other squirrel's been running around the treetop is he like scared like frozen like is the other squirrel i don't know what he's doing should i tap on the window i'm not gonna tap on the window oh well the sun is coming in on my video what i'm saying goodbye okay all right guys thank you all so much for watching are you ready to get in the pool yes okay so it's now pool time so i love you yes. guys so much thank you all so 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 much for watching my video remember to please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through so don't be a dick oh all right guys i love you and my son's pulling me away. I'll see you.
see you in the next video. I gotta turn my camera off. Goodbye. Oh, I love you. I love you guys. Oh, I love you.